Hello. So, I'm on today to make some nacho cheese sauce for my nachos. Um, last week, we made nachos using this nacho cheese sauce and it turned out awesome. Um, we really, we loved it and I did not have to do a lot of work for it. So I wanted to show everyone how easy the new blender is to use um, and how I make my nachos. Because it's about a 40 minute process from start to finish, um, I'm not gonna video the whole thing together, but I'll do it in stages. Um, we have three stages of the nachos to make in the blender and then the oven and stuff. But um, so here is the first stage of the nacho cheese sauce to start out. Okay, I just have to add some milk. Okay, I have two cups of milk. Which, by the way, these measuring cups are just awesome. I love them. I just recently got them, and you can see they measure on the inside, so you don't have to get down real low and look. Love them. Anyway, um, so I also already pre-measured out the um, taco seasoning. You just use a teaspoon of taco seasoning, some salt, black pepper. So I measured that out. So now I'm going to put that in. Okay, all three of those. Um, and then I have some jalapenos that I'm adding. And I also am going to add a clove of garlic. Okay. So I just put all that in and I put the lid on the blender. So, and I'm going to show you in just a moment the blender so you can kind of see what it looks like. But really, that's all I have to do to start, okay? And um, then I'm gonna flip the camera around now so you can see the blender, I think. Maybe, if I can figure out how to flip it. Okay, so I just learned that you can't flip the camera in the middle of a video that you're filming. But here is the cooking blender. And you can look and see it's pretty easy. Um, I am going to put it on a sauce setting. So, so I have it sauce, and I just push the wheel to start, and it's that easy. So the blender, the blender is heating up and cooking. Now it'll go for a little while. It is 7:20. No, not that. My mic, my stove is wrong. Sorry. It is 5:30 just about now. So I will tell you the time when I come back on, so you know how long that took. Um, but you can see it's gonna do that for a little while. And while it's doing that. I am going to get my roux sauce ready and I'm also going to start to make the meat for the nachos. I'm just making taco meat for the nachos. All right, bye. Okay, just about a half an hour is going by. It's six o'clock now. I'm gonna add the roux to the um, blender. Okay, so I just take this wheel off so I don't take the whole thing off. I just take the wheel off. I already have the roux made. It's just butter and flour mixture. Um, and I just put it in the blender. And so I just put it right there. Okay. Okay. All right. And I just put the cap back on and lock it. And I just hit the wheel. And it's going to go for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to add the cheese in. Okay, 
Okay, so while my blender is going right now, I'm gonna go ahead and make pico de gala so that I can have that nice and fresh. Um, so the first thing I already did is I have a quarter of an onion. I'm gonna cut it into chunks, okay? So while I'm, I just did that, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my manual food processor. And then I have lime juice, salt, jalapeno, and garlic already in here. Um, I don't like cilantro, so I won't be putting that in my pico. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, put all that in there. And now I just manually do this and use the pump till it's where I want it. It says pump it until it's coarsely chopped. have a scraper so I can kind of push it down. Just going to do a couple more pumps. It looks pretty good. And then I'm going to add half of my grapes. Okay. There are grape tomato. Oops. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add about half of these right now. Two cups of grapes, tomatoes. So I just keep doing this until it's coarsely chopped. I can push them back down. It's actually pretty good. I don't need it real because it's just going to go on top of the nachos after they're done. I don't need it real coarse. Okay. Um, keep adding. Going to add these. some relatively fresh pico okay. looks pretty good um, with very little effort and very little work okay so it's now about 6 15 so about 15 minutes have gone by um, so all I'm gonna do now is take the cap off of this the blender I'm gonna put the cheddar cheese in which I've already cubed okay being careful not to get burn myself. It's hot. It's 200 degrees right now. Okay. All right, so that's all in there. So now I am going to put the lid back on. Okay, and I have to Go to custom blend, okay, which I'm already on. And I have to put it on the speed of three. Let's see. There's my speed of three for one minute. Okay. And I just kind of, I do have to kind of watch the timer. And that's it. that's all done and so now I'm just gonna I personally like to put my nacho cheese sauce on the nachos ahead of time and then um, I put them in the oven just for a few minutes just to kind of get everything to mix nicely nice and flavorful so 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of cheese sauce on these, or a lot. And I'm gonna put some hamburger meat on, some taco meat. And then I'm gonna put some more nachos, more shout chips. Okay. Try not to get too many crumbs. Huh. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the nacho cheese on this. Wow, that's a lot. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the taco meat on this. This is about a pound of hamburger. I just put taco seasoning on it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put it in the oven for five minutes or so. Okay. And that'll be that. All right. All right. All right. This was just in the oven for a few minutes, just to get all the ingredients to. I don't know. Mess. And then now all I'm gonna do is put pico on top of it. Okay. So my fresh pico that I just made. I'm gonna leave that there and maybe use a little more later. And put some sour cream on top. yummy meal that we're gonna go enjoy okay I'm gonna do my last clip of this um, I wanted to show everybody how it cleans um, I already I did rinse it out but you can't get everything um, soaked because of all the electronics and electrical equipment underneath of it so um, it's a self-cleaning blender I put three cups of water and a little bit of dish soap in it so all I do is I turn this to heated wash I hit start and it's gonna go um, and it just takes a couple minutes it heats it up washes it there's a little rinsing but it's all gone all the cheese stuff and everything all right all right I hope I hope you enjoyed watching everything and uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions